All right, guys, today's lesson is lesson 87. I'm going to be solving all these problems with you today, so just follow along, fill out your form, and then click Submit. Number 1A says that Freeman rode his bike two miles from his house to Dee Dee's house. Together, they rode four miles to the lake. Dee Dee caught eight fish. At 3.30, they rode back to Dee Dee's house. Then Freeman ran, rode home. So I drew a little picture because that's a lot of information. And for 1A, they only want to ask, all together, how far did Freeman ride his bike? So he rode to Dee Dee's house, from Dee Dee's house to the lake, and then all the way back. So that would be two miles plus four miles, which is six miles. And then all the way back would be four miles plus two miles, which is six miles. Six plus six equals 12 miles for 1A is 12 miles. 1B, it took Freeman an hour and a half to get home from the lake. At what time did he get home? So in that long word problem that I'm not going to read to you again, it says that he left at 3.30. How long did it take him to get home? Well, from 3.30 to one, uh, an hour and a half after 3.30. So if you add the 30 minutes, it would now be 4 o'clock. If you add the hour, it would now be 5 o'clock p.m. 5 o'clock p.m. Part C. Dee Dee caught twice as many fish as Freeman. How many fish did Freeman catch? So Dee Dee caught eight. Um, and she caught twice as many as Freeman. So two times what is eight? The answer to that is four. Freeman caught four fish. Number two. Siraj bought some feed priced at $12.97. Tax was $0.91. Cents. He paid with a $20 bill. How much change should he receive? So this is two steps, add and then subtract to find the amount of change he will receive. So adding your tax to your total, 7 plus 1 is 8, 9 and 9, 18. Bring down your decimal, carry a 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. 1 plus nothing is 1. So I have $13.88. That is what I need to subtract from $20, the $20 bill I gave the cashier. My cat's trying to eat my pencil. All right, now I need to borrow because I cannot take 8 out of 0. It doesn't work. So... Um, I'm going to borrow from 20, make it a 19. This 0 becomes a 9, and your last digit becomes a 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. 9 minus 8 is 1. Bring down your decimal. 9 minus 3 is 6. And 1 minus nothing, or 1 minus 1 is nothing. So the final answer should be $6.12. That is an option on number two. Please choose $6.12. Number three, find a reasonable sum of 4,876 and 3,149 by rounding each number to the nearest thousand and adding. Eight causes 4,000 to become 5,000, 1 causes 3,000 to stay the same at 3,000. Adding these two rounded numbers will give you the estimate of $8,000. Choose the option that shows 5,000 plus 3,000 equals 8,000 for number 3. Number 4. What is the perimeter of a pentagon? Remember, a pentagon has five sides if each side is 20 centimeters long. So I have 20 centimeters times five sides. 
and 5 times 0 is 0, 2 times 5 is 10, and I got 100 centimeters on number 4. Number 5 is pretty hard to read, I apologize for that, um, but this line segment is right in the middle between 3 and 4 inches. So we know that means we have three whole inches and one half of the next. Three and one half inches. Three and one half. Number six. One half of the 18 players were on the field. How many players were on the field? Finding half of anything is code for divide by two. 18 divided by 2 would be half of the players. If you know that 2 times 9 is 18, it makes this problem much easier. 18 minus 18, there is no remainder. So 9 players are on the field. Scrolling down to number 7. A dime is one-tenth of a dollar. What fraction of a dollar is a penny? When you have a penny, you have one out of 100 pennies to make a dollar. Just like when you have a dime, you have one out of 10 that make a dollar. If you have one quarter, you have one out of four that make a dollar. So a penny is one one hundredth of a dollar. One one hundredth for number seven. Number eight, a dime is what percent of a dollar? And this is a perfect problem because I know if I have 10 cents out of 100 cents, that's my percentage, 10%. 10%, any fraction on top of 100, you can just write it as a percent. The numerator can be your percentage. And here um, is the kind of problem that we is totally new to us and I am not going to ask you to do these on your own but I am going to ask that you watch and think carefully about it and if it really confuses you you ask your parents or somebody to help you it is two digit by two digit multiplication and I'm going to show you several um, examples today and you may not understand it after today and you may not understand it after tomorrow, but that's okay. Keep watching this with a positive attitude and just do your best. That's all I ever ask. Three times three is nine. And then three times one, right here, this three times one is three. For the first step, you pretend this digit is not even there. For the first step, you pretend that one is not even there and you multiply three times three the way you would as if it were completely by itself. And now I'm gonna put that one back and show you what is different when we have two digit by two digit multiplication. Now I'm going to cross out the three and put a zero under the nine and start all over again using this one. I have to make sure I multiply the one by the ten, the one's place first. One times three is three, and then one times one is one. Now I add these two together, and that will be my answer. Nine plus zero is nine, three plus three is six, one plus nothing is one, and the answer is 169. Okay, we're going to take a break from that for a second. That was just the very first time we've ever seen that, so don't worry if you didn't understand. Number 10, one millimeter is one one thousandth of a meter. Write that number as a decimal. So I know if I have a decimal place, I the first one is tenths, hundredths, and then thousandths. So I can write one with two zeros. This is one thousandth. Find that and select it for number 10. Okay, here we're getting into more of those two by two examples. Remember, first pretend this two is not there. That is not there right now. 
and just solve it like you would 31 times 1. 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 3 is 3. Now I do those two new things, mark this out, add a 0. Okay? Now I multiply this 2 by 1. A lot of the common mistakes I see with 2 by 2 multiplication is immediately multiplying these two numbers together. That will not leave you with the correct answer. You cannot forget about this digit in the ones place in the top, um, in the top number. So 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6. Now I may add 1 plus 0 is 1. 3 plus 2 is 5. 6 plus nothing is 6. The answer to 31 times 21 is 651. Another example, number 12. 32 times 31. 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3. Mark out this 1. 3 times 2 is, oh, mark out the 1 and place a 0. That's another big mistake, and I almost made it. Um, when people forget to place the 0 right here, that is very important. Now, 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. And add 2 and 0, 2, 6 and 3, 9. 9 and nothing, 9. 992 is the answer to number 12. Number 13. 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times 1 is 2. Do the two things I taught you. Mark it out. Put a 0. Now, 3 times 3, 9. 3 times 1, 3. Add them together. 6 plus 0, 6. 9 plus 2, 11. 3 plus 1 is 4. Number 13 is 416. 416. Number 14, 11 times 11. Now, this isn't a great example because all of these are the same digit. So when I say multiply 1 times 1, you're like, what 1? So this isn't a great example, but I'm going to do it anyway with you. 1 times 1, right here, is 1. 1 times 1, this way, is 1. Now mark it out. Add a 0. I'm going to rewrite it for you. Now this has been marked out. Now I multiply this one and 1 and get 1, and this one and 1 and get 1. Now I can add them together. 1 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 1 is 2. And 1 plus nothing is 1. 11 times 11 on number 14 is 120. 1. 1 plus 1 is 1, not 0. I need you guys. I need you guys to catch me doing silly things like that. I don't know what to do without you. All right, number 14. No, number 15. I told you guys. I'm missing you. <sighs> 2 times 4 is 8. 4 times 1 is 4. Do the two steps. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. Add them together. 8 plus 0 is 8. 4 plus 2 is 6. And 1 plus nothing is 1. 168. All right, now that we know how to multiply two digits, um, this isn't the way I would have to do this problem. But I still love leaving the zero over the edge and just adding it to your answer as often as you can. It is so much easier. So now I've put the zero in my answer. I can just do three times zero, 
zero, three times zero, zero, three times eight, 24, 24,000 on number 16, number 17, 1,000 divided by seven. Seven will not go into one, but it will go into 10. One times seven is seven. Um, set 10 minus seven is three. Bring down your zero. Seven goes into 30 four times. Four times seven is 28. 28 is two less than 30. Bring down this zero. 20. Um, 21 is seven times three, but that is too big, so we know we can only go in two times. 20 minus 14 is six. So we have a remainder of six here. 142 remainder six, and number 17. Number 18, 477 divided by three. Three goes into four one time. One times three is three. Subtract, four minus three is one. Bring down your seven. How many threes are in 17? I know that three times five is 15. Seven minus five is two. And bring down a seven. Three times what is 27? That is nine times three equals 27. It works out equally with no remainder. And your answer is 159. Number 19, 2,535 divided by 5. 5 goes into 25 five times. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 minus 25 is 0. And bring down a 3. This is a tricky step right here. How many 5s go into 3? 0. 0 times 5 is 0. 3 minus 0 is 3. And now bring down your 5. 5 times what is 35? That is 7. 7 times 5 is 35 exactly. And you have no remainder. Number 19 is 507. 507. Number 20. $64.80 divided by 9. I bet you guys are at home yelling, you forgot your dollar sign. I know. That's what I need, you guys. All right. How many 9s are in 64? I know that 9 times 7, is it? 9 times 7 is 63. 63 minus 64 is 1. Go ahead and put that decimal in your answer. Bring down your 8. How many 9s are in 18? That works out perfect because 2 times 9 is 18. Subtract, and you have a 0. You're not done. Bring down your last digit, which is a 0. How many 9s are in 0? That would be none. 0 times 9 is 0. You have none remaining. Oh, and you guys are getting ready to yell at me again. Forgot my dollar sign. 21, 716 divided by 4. 4 goes into 7 one time. 1 times 4 is 4. 7 minus 4 is 3. Bring down your 1. Let's see. 4 times 7 is 28. Is that as close as we can get? That leaves us with three, yep. Bring down your six. What times four is 36? Nine times four is 36, and you have no remainder. 21 is 179. 22, 352 divided by eight will um, sh prove what X is. Um, X times 8 equals 352 is the question. You have to do the inverse operation to isolate the variable. Those are big words that we've talked about a lot this year. It's okay if they're still scary words to you. But that just means we do the opposite of multiplication, which is division, to figure out what the letter is. 
So how many eights are in 35? Um, I know eight times four is 32. Five minus two is three. Bring down a two. And look at that, I have 32. I know eight times four is 32, uh, not 22. Subtract, and I have no remainder. The answer is x equals 44 on number 22. 23, how many different three-digit numbers can you write using the digits 1, 5, and 0? Each digit may be used only once, and the digit 0 may not be used in the hundreds place. So if you look at these three digits and you say, oh, that's a six ways problem, that is not correct here, and I'll show you why. So three digits, 1, 5, 0. We're letting 1 go first. Then 1, 0, 5. Then 5 can go in the front. 5, 1, 0. I don't know why I did that. And then 5 gets another turn in the front. 5, 0, 1. But there was one rule. 0 cannot go in the hundreds place. So these are the only three digit numbers you can make, which means there are only four ways. On number 23, there are only four ways. 24, find the perimeter and area of a 20 by 10 rectangle. Um, the perimeter, you would add both sides of 20, both sides of 10, 20 plus 20 is 40 plus 10 is 50, plus 10 is 60 inches. Area is multiplication, 20 times 10. I'm gonna let the zero hang off the end, put it in my answer. Zero times one is zero, two times one is two. The area is 200 square inches. So find the answer that shows an area of 200 and a perimeter of 60. Hmm. Yep, I see it. All right, number 26. What is the perimeter in millimeters of a two centimeter equilateral triangle? Perimeter of an equilateral triangle is gonna be only times three sides instead of times four, because there are only three sides. And two centimeters would be 20 millimeters. So I have 20 millimeters times three sides equals 60 millimeters. 27A, we're talking about parallel and perpendicular. Parallel is like train tracks. Perpendicular makes an L. And on part A, it wants to know what is parallel to AB. And instead of going through all the answers, I'm just going to find it. What is parallel to AB? Well, what's below it going the same direction? C, D. Or you could reverse it to say D, C. Find the one that says C, D. 27B, which angle looks like it might be 110 degrees. So, um, 110 degrees is obtuse. There is only one obtuse angle, and that is letter D. The angle D is obtuse. 28. I've kind of put this graph in here. It's still a little bit small. Um, it shows the relationship between Rudy's age. How old was Neelam um, when Ruby was four years old? So down at the bottom, you'll see Ruby's number four, and you're going to go up to the dot on number four. You're going to find that uh, Neelam was seven. 29. Write each decimal number. Um, I have one, two, three, four tens on one with six ones, so I'd call that 46 hundredths, and five tens and eight ones on the next, so I'd call that 58 hundredths. On 29B, you're gonna add them. 
um, 46 plus 8 is 14. 5 plus 4 is 9 plus 1. Let's see, 29B is 1. It's 10. So the reason I paused, um, we haven't done this yet. When you add two decimals and they equal to more than one, you still only have two decimal places. So you have one whole and four hundredths. When you subtract, make sure you put the largest number on the top. Mark out the five. Five becomes a four. The six becomes a 16. 16 minus eight is eight, but don't just say this is eight. Four minus four is zero, which is very important. And then put your decimal because eight hundredths is different than eight tenths. Eight pennies is a very different value than eight dimes. Number 30, last one. Um, a mail carrier worked from 8 a.m. to noon, which is four hours, and 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., which is three hours. During those times, he delivered to about 700 homes. So in seven hours, he delivered to 700 homes. They want to know about how many deliveries did the carrier make each hour. So we divide by seven. 700 homes divided by seven hours. Seven goes into seven one time. One times seven is seven. Seven minus seven is zero. Bring down your zero. Zero, zero, zero. Bring down this zero. There are zero sevens. Zero, no remainder. So the answer is 100 homes. Miss you guys. Hope I see you soon. Let me know if you need anything or if this just it really isn't working out for you. Keep, keep me in the loop. All right. Bye.